Hello there, this uh, video is going to be a short one hopefully, just telling you how you can quite easily install DOS games and run them on your Mac. Um, now I've got quite a, lot, quite a lot of DOS games and I do run them, it's quite easy. Um, where I get most of them from is GOG.com. GOG stands for Good Old Games, in case you didn't already know. And they've got 378 available. Not all of them are DOS games, uh, a lot of them are Windows. Um, you can actually run a lot of Windows games on your Mac. Um, if it, there's, I've got a couple of videos done already um, showing how to get Oblivion, for example, up and running on your Mac. Uh, and the same, the same um, sort of process that you use to get Oblivion up and running, you can also use to get it. But most of the other Windows games up. So, if you want to run a Windows game, go and take a look at that. Um, okay, so uh, this is GOG. Uh, you buy all your games here. Uh, when you download them, uh, this is what you get. You get an exe file, um, but it, it's actually a Windows program. Um, so, and what it does is it unpacks all the files within, all, all you know, to, uh, to run the games. Um, obviously, it's a bit of a problem if you've got a Mac because, um, well, this is an exe file that doesn't run on a Mac. So you need to just do a little bit of trickery, not too much. Let me just get my browser back up again. First thing you need to do is uh, get a program called Wineskin uh, for your Mac, and what it does is it, is it just allows you to run a lot of Wine uh, uh, Windows programs on your Mac. I cover this in a lot more detail in my uh, couple of videos on how to run Oblivion on your Mac. Um, so have a look at those two if you want to know a bit more about this. But for the moment, if you just go there and just download it, basically, uh, I won't download it myself because I've already got it. But yeah just click there there and uh, you'll be away so uh, assuming then you've been to GOG you found a game you like uh, it's a DOS game uh, and if you're not sure if a game that you like is for DOS um, best thing to do is just look it up on Wikipedia and that will tell you whether it came out for DOS or for Windows uh, but after you've downloaded it and uh, you've got your executable to run there we need to run that now to get all the um, all the DOS, old DOS game files out. So, uh, assuming you've got Wineskin Winery in your Applications uh, directory or folder, whatever you want to call it, uh, let's just have a scroll down here. Oops, Wineskin Winery. There we go. We'll run that. There we go. Um, it probably won't look exactly like this. I've got quite a lot of uh, Wine engines installed. Just if, if the purpose of this you can just keep it as whatever one you've got you should have at least one. Oh look there's actually, there's actually an update uh, version I'm not going to update it because I know I know it's going to work fine. Um, the important thing you need to do is uh, create a new blank wrapper. Okay so I'm going to call this uh, this program I've actually got up here is Dungeon Keeper I'm going to install that um, so I'm just going to call it DK. Now what this is going to do is it's going to create um, an application, a Mac application, uh, and within that there's going to be all the all the Wine application, Wine emulation files you need to run uh, the program, um, and uh, all uh, kept separate in one nice little area on your hard disk, so you don't have to worry about anything getting cluttered up. Um, it's working now. It's um, being a bit slow because obviously I've got the screen capture software there running. So, uh, we just wait for that now to finish. And hopefully it won't take too long. There we go. So, now you'll get this uh, this dialog box here, Wine Gecko Installer. This is if you just want to um, uh, if, if, you, if you're going to be viewing the internet or anything like that. We don't need this, so we just click on Cancel. And then it'll think for a little while again. There we go. So it's created this application for me and it tells you where it's done it, but we'll view it in the finder. Right, uh, yeah, you can see that there it is. Uh, these are sort of all Windows games that I've got um, I've got uh, working under, under Wine with, with this. But I'll just ignore those. Uh, now, once we've got this created, what we need to do is right click on it 
show package contents because it's actually that uh, DK file is actually hiding a lot of things um, under the hood. Um, think, uh, one thing you need to know is here drive C. This is where it keeps the emulated drive C. So if we click on that, and you see you've got a standard Windows file hierarchy there. There's nothing in it much in it at the moment uh, because we haven't installed anything. So let's do that. So to do that, we run this Wineskin program in here. This is an app, a Mac application. Um, so just double click and run. Now, first thing you need to do, quite important, go in to Advanced Options, and where it says Map OSX folders um, in the wrapper, unclick. Uh, because what that does is uh, all the My Documents folders in your emulated Windows environment here will then be um, mapped onto your Mac's My Documents folder, and the same thing for configura uh, configuration files, directories, and everything. And if you not if you don't do this, then you can end up with all sorts of Windows files uh, outside on your in your Mac heart. Uh, directory system and it just makes things incredibly messy so first thing I do is I always untick that so we can do that and then the next thing we do is uh, install Windows software so we click on that right now it wants to know um, which ones uh, which program we want to run we want to run the program I've got on my desktop so we'll go to desktop and uh, yeah set up dungeonkeeper.exe so yeah it says it's a Windows executable so we'll just choose that and now it'll run it and unpack all the files onto the drive C we can see there and it will take a little while uh, oh it's not too bad actually does that first yeah so then you get the GOG installer coming up set up for Dungeon Keeper yes I've read the and accept the license uh, agreement yeah blah 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 and we just start in, oh just remember that, that that's where it, it that's where it tells you where it's going to install things so just remember that and so now everything's getting put into here into the drive C Uh, you can sit and read the bit of advertising if you like or you can stare out the window like I'm doing Master of Orion 1 or 2 great games running DOSBox very well so go and buy them and try this all out it's only $5.99 well worth it so your installation is complete we don't want to launch because it won't bloody work uh, so we'll just quit exit installer Yeah, we can just we don't not worried about this. Just click OK. It's it's really irrelevant, and then we can quit. So now, if we look in here and go to Program Files, we'll see we've got now got a gog.com directory, and in there we've got Dungeon Keeper, and we can just take a quick peek in there, peek in there and look. Yeah, uh, there's all the files we need. They're in Dungeon Keeper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the Dungeon Keeper directory out onto my desktop like that oh pardon me and then we can just de delete that don't need it anymore so uh, that's how we're halfway through now uh, so uh, what do we need to do next well in order to run Dungeon Keeper now we need to uh, have a DOS emulator and that's where Boxer comes in uh, like it says it's a DOS game emulator it's uh, based on uh, DOSBox which is um, out for um, which is a it's open source free program for um, uh, Windows and Linux uh, and the Mac but this is just a handy way of uh, packaging all together and it does uh, import good old games quite easily uh, old games from good old games quite easily and keeps all the settings that good, good old games have uh, created for you so um, you can be in you can you know well hope that uh, the game's gonna uh, have all the right settings and be emulated well and there'll be no bugs or anything like that in, em in the emulation 
So you can go and you can download Boxer. As I said, it's completely free, um, as is Wineskin, by the way. So just download it from there. Uh, and then install it. Uh, I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to install it. In fact, what I'm going to do is just quick quit that. Um, so once you've installed it, what you need to do is run it. So let's go to my applications directory and somewhere down here. There we go. There's Boxer. Now when it starts, there we go, uh, it opens up onto uh, a directory in which it keeps all the, your DOS games. Like you can see I've got quite a lot in here already. They all work, they all work fine. Um, right at the top there, you see there's an, uh, an application there, it's import a new game it says. Right, um, well let's do that then. Import a new game. There we go. So uh, let's get rid of uh, these two windows. Yeah, drop your game here. Drag a CD-ROM game folder or disk image, and Boxer will import it into a new game box. That's its terminology for um, all these different files, game boxes. So uh, yeah, well this is this is the game directory we've got for Dungeon Keeper. So let's just drop that on there. And it'll import. There we go. Now you see the the uh, icon in the docs changed. It's it's read the settings that uh, uh, Gog have done for the game, uh, so it knows what the game is and what it needs to run. And you get a nice little icon in your dock when you're running it. So there we go. So it's given us the uh, the icon, given us a name for it. And it says, "Congratulations, your new game is ready to play." So. Uh, we could just launch it there or we can quit from that and then uh, Boxer uh, yeah it knows I've just installed that so it comes up on the right click uh, or you can do it from your DOS games directory we should have Dungeon Keeper in here now somewhere there we go you can click on it here if you like there's all sorts of ways you can run it but let's just uh, let's just double click on that off it goes, powered by DOSBox it says, there it starts running the DOS program and we're off there we go and we can just click off there and make sure it goes in and there we go, start new game oh, click in it to get the mouse focus, start new game blah 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 ever smile Set in the realm of joy, the people of Eversmile are yeah, plagued yeah. only let's by just, aching... Let's just go in. Yeah, I've, I've played this already. Um, bloody good game. Yep, yeah, so... Uh, yep, yeah, you can save your games as normal. There you go. When you save them, just to point out, they're actually being saved within this within the Dungeon Keeper file. Like the win the, the wineskin programs, um, these are actually packages and they if you open them up you can actually go in and you can see the the hard disk, your emulated DOS hard disk there. So um, any game any saved games that, that you make will will um, just stay within the program that you're running and they won't be littered all over your Macintosh hard drive. Uh, and so if you get sick of the game you can just delete it and it's gone and the saved games and all the configuration files go as well. Um, so that's just about it but one thing I will just actually point out about Boxer, I'm just going to close that now just to get rid, get rid of the noise um, on Boxer, let's have a look, we can import new game and that's another way to um, get this up um, <coughs> pardon me, if you've got a CD CD-ROM uh, you can actually drag it from the finder onto there as well, you know, a CD-ROM of your old um, DOS game. Um, likewise, uh, disk images as well, if you've got some of them. Um, and uh, I think, does it, well, I was, it won't work with um, floppy disks, will it, because Macintoshes don't have floppy disks anymore. Um, but if you've got, um, if you've got floppy disks that 
Oh, I was, no, it's rubbish. No, I forgot I was going to say that. I was just going to say, if you've got a floppy, games on floppy disks, you could run them on Windows and import them over. But then there'd be no point in running it on a Mac if you were going to do that, would there? Would there? No. So, um, yep, so you don't have to just get things from GOG. Uh, if you've got the original CD-ROM, you can use that as well. Um, that's just about it, really. Um, like I say, I've got loads of, quite a few games installed there. They all work seamlessly um, on uh, on DOSBox and uh, it's just a great way of reliving all the old games that you used to play donkeys years ago. Highly recommend it. And on that note I'm going to end this video there. Um, I will just say um, if you've got any um, uh, problems with um, getting getting a particular game running or anything like that please don't please don't message me I, I really don't have the time to actually sort of give out technical support uh, especially if it's a game that I, I haven't got or I don't know then it's just not going to happen so please just um, there are forums on GOG uh, GOG.com uh, for example uh, where are we let's just go to there is it in the community? Yes, there we go. Game specific forums. Uh, yeah, Dungeon Keeper. Uh, so you could, if you're having problems with a particular one, Dungeon Keeper, then you can just go in and there. This is for Dungeon Keeper 2 as well, this forum, but Dungeon Keeper 1. Yeah, so that this is the, the best place to go for technical support and things like that, uh, if you've got any problems. Um, Anyway, I hope that you found this useful and um, play some good, good old games. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, on that note, I'm going to see you later. Cheerio.